Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like the clock. And I'm Pearl of Wisdom. And you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom, B-Pal Picks Addiction. Addiction? It's sort of an addiction, isn't it? You come back here. See, I got my I got my duck shirt on. Okay, I was not supposed to wear that. Carol, my wife told me not to wear that. But I wear it anyway. See, look at it now. Eh, daffy duck. Anyways, uh, I'm going to be giving you picks. I know it's it's Friday. I usually don't give picks on the weekend, do I? But uh, the little lady's a little tired. She went to bed early, so I felt kind of bored. So I say, you know what? You guys have been so awesome. I'm going to do some picks for Saturday. What the heck? Now, take keep in mind, these picks are made without goaltender confirmations a lot. Uh, and many other things that could pop up. Uh, so they're not final. If you want the final picks, you go to BPAL Picks, which I'll send, I'll put the uh, link in the bio there and you can go there. Uh, if you comment in the comment section, just say anything you want, just say anything, it doesn't matter. I will, I will uh, give you a free month of uh, B, the rest of this month of BPAL Picks for you. There you go. Uh, okay, so yeah, do it. Like we're making tons of money out there. My tennis picks, I just hit like three more. I think I'm 95 and 47 or something like that. Just hitting like crazy. Uh, this evening, I had I didn't play the Arizona game, but I did have the under. I didn't pull the freaking trigger on it, and I did like St. Louis because I didn't think they were going to lose four in a row to Arizona, but I just faded the game because. Uh, St. Louis has not been playing like the the St. Louis that I've seen, so I, I just faded it. Just faded it. Just did it. But I had Boston in regulation and the under, and they won one nothing. So we got that one. Uh, got a letter. Send your letters. Send your letters and uh, all your stuff because we love your letters. You know, uh, Guido goes down into the letter. Uh, mail room mail place you know where it is down there and then he gets a sack and he brings the sack up and then we pour it all over the letter table and helen uh the uh the uh, knitter of uh the knitter of your pearls of wisdom necklaces that you get when you subscribe for all you know you you know those by the way if you want some more of those you just, to another Pearls of Wisdom necklace, just go to any store anywhere, Reitman's, Walmart, Kmart, name them, anyone, and uh, just ask for their pearl necklace section and uh, say that, you know, get them to direct you and, and ask for a Pearls of Wisdom necklace. I'm, they're, they're everywhere, everywhere, all store, where everything is sold, 7-Eleven. Have you got those there in the United States? What did they call them? There was a, oh, Wawa. Your Wawa. Go to your Wawa. Do that. And when you do it, please record it and send it to me because I like to see that. Uh, so it's, but we got a letter from Suki Pai. P-I, that's it. Suki Pai. I don't know if that's how you say it. From, uh, Macau, China, saying, could you please do a video on for Saturday this week? I really want to see. I love your videos where all the family just gets around the table there and they get around uh, whatever their watching devices and uh, they, they sit at the edge of the seat waiting for my video to come up on the YouTube and then they watch it. So I was like, you know what? Okay. We'll do that for you. Actually, it was only because my wife went to bed early, but she, uh, she, I was gonna do it eventually. So it's for you, Suki. It's for you. So that's what we're gonna do, and uh, we're gonna do the picks for tomorrow. Uh, subscribe, go to the Patreon, all that stuff. You all, you know that. Four minutes in here, and we haven't even did a pick yet. So let's get to it, shall we? Um, okay, here we are. What's going on? This is uh, 
uh, shark, sh odd shark. It's the best there. I said it. It gives you all of your different places, pinnacle, five dimes and everything, and all your odds where you can get your max odds. I highly recommend you check it out and uh, go on all these ones so you can get your best odds. Uh, starting out, we have Winnipeg and Ottawa. Um, Ottawa, Murray's hurts. Holberg has not looked good. Winnipeg is going to be rolling with uh, Hullabuck. That sounds like Winnipeg to me. Probably do Winnipeg. I got a special pick on this too. If you had a Patreon, you could check it out. Um, as far as the total is concerned, uh, six and a half. I don't know if Ottawa's going to score enough against uh, Hullabuck to get that six and a half. But Holberg has been letting a lot of goals in, so... It's close. Uh, last time I went the under with Murray in net, I believe. And Winnipeg almost out, almost outscored that. It was 5-1. But I'm going to lean the under. I'm going to lean the under on that. Uh, Vegas versus San Jose. Uh, San Jose, this is at home, but it's not at home. Because they're playing in Arizona. Uh, Vegas crapped the bet against Anaheim. And not only did they lose Anaheim Ducks, but they did so wearing a device on their head that looked like they were He-Man masters of the universe. So uh, one thing to lose to the Ducks, another thing to look to wear a helmet that looks like that while you're doing it. And might even contribute to why, because I think they might have felt a bit foolish. However... On the other side of things, I kind of think it was a cool thing. We talked about it in my live uh, on uh, that we do every weekday, 3 to 5. We're going to do our weekend review on Monday, 3 to 5. Usually Joe Boric is on there. Uh, we're going to have Peyton on the radio on there. We got Steel Flyers, the GOAT, John. Uh, he's on all, uh, quite a bit, so... Go check it out, man. It's so much fun. The frolic is above all frolic. There is no greater frolic. So if you enjoy frolic, I would be going there. Uh, so anyways, the pick here. I'm going to, I got to think Vegas is going to come back. Getting shut out. Uh, what's their name? Oh, what's the person? Oh, geez. How many times have I seen it? And I forget the name. Oh, I'm really bothered by that. Anyways, I can't believe I can't remember the name. Anyways, they've been commenting on my live. They commented on Twitter, commenting everywhere, and I forget the freaking name. You know what? I'm going to go check it out because I'm mad. I'm mad at myself for not remembering the name. Um, okay, anyways, I'll figure it out as we go here because i got to get going on this. I'm really sorry for the person that did this because they're awesome and I just love talking to them, but I can't remember what moniker they go by. So, um, anyways, i got to think Vegas is going to be angry after that. Uh, it's at home. I'm going to take Vegas, but it uh, probably just ML that, which isn't giving you very good juice. And San Jose, uh, that's got to be over. Um, no goaltender confirmations here. I hear that Laner is still injured, though, which could be difficult. Because uh, Flurry's been, eh. So I'm going to go over here. Uh, what's the line? What's the line on the over? Six. Yeah, over six seems like a good bet to me. Uh, Tampa versus Florida. Well, we had this surprise, surprise, surprise last time, and I'm checking out now what that person's name is because it's bugging me. Jacket. Jacket. So simple. Jacket. Uh, yeah. Anyways, it's been talking a lot. I can't remember why I brought it up, but now I'm glad I <laughs> realized it. Florida, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay has Sorelli injured. Uh, and I don't know what's going on with Stamkos. So we're going to have to check that. 
But Florida's outworked Tampa Bay last time, flat out, and won this 5-2. I actually said that it felt like a 5-2, I believe, but I thought Tampa was going to win 5-2. I did have the over last game. I got to keep rolling with the over. Florida is supposed to be rocking Bobrovsky, and he had, he's looked better, but is that going to maintain? Um Either way, there's enough firepower on both sides here for them to get over the five and a half. I'm not sure if I'm going to put it in on Patreon or not. Um, I'm going to say Florida does it again. But as you can tell, I'm not all that confident. But let's go Florida ML here. I got to think Tampa Bay is going to be pissed after that. It could be very close. Very close game. Good to see a real rivalry going on there. And good to see Florida, you know, Hornquist rock and bringing in uh, uh, oh, Verhege and all of those moves that they made. They're looking like a really fun team to watch. Boston versus the Islanders. Boston played last night against the Rangers, won one nothing in a tough match. It's really hard to not take Boston here again. Because the Islanders, for some reason, all of a sudden can't hold a lead, no matter what they do. Uh, so, and you're not getting really much juice, if I remember, on the line. Also, the lines are totally not out here because we don't know who the goaltenders are going to be. I believe it's going to be Tuka Rask. Uh, the Islanders at 217 here it just seems like the juice to take. Boston should be tired. Uh, one thing's for sure, at 5.5, I'm probably going the under. So I, I'm, on, I'm not sure about the line. I will go with the under at 5.5. If you want to know what the line I'm going to give or if I'm going to give it, remember, Patreon, BPAL Picks. That's where you want to go. Toronto versus Montreal. Montreal struggled against Edmonton. I'm starting to see the old Montreal back again where they just shoot, 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 shoot. And uh, Julian's teams have a tendency to fall into this or he encourages it or whatever. Shoot from bad angles, all of that sort of thing. Um, I, I just have too hard of a time going against Toronto right now. As far as the over-under here, I think it's probably, there again, when they're playing, uh, Montreal is playing like this, they generally have a hard time scoring. Hopefully they change for them for their own. Well, they change back to where they're going aggressively towards the net and running at the net where um, they were playing a system. It's not really a system. It's just where they're shooting from. For some reason, a lot of Montreal players are resorting back to the perimeter shooting thing, and it just will not work overall in the long run. Um, even with Toffoli, they'll be better, but I want to see them back to where they were before. And until I do, it, earlier in the season, until I do, I can't take them, so I'm going with Toronto. As far as the over-under at 6.5, I think they even have it at 6 here. Um, it seems like the total. I, I would probably fade it. Arizona versus St. Louis. They just played. They don't really have any lines out. It's probably going to be Ranta versus Huso. I got to take Arizona at 215 if Huso's, Huso's in net. Uh, I got to. St. Louis won last night. They've been on the road forever now. Uh, I got to take Arizona there. Um, and probably the over on 5.5. Uh, Columbus versus Chicago. Now, this is a very interesting game. The thing is, is, is Merzlikens going to be, if Merzlikens is going to be in net, I like Columbus at that number. Um, they're coming, they're starting to gel as a team. Nobody teaches on the fly better than Tortorella, I don't think. Like, without practice time. Um, I could see Chicago winning this game, though. Are they going to go back? To the kid again, though. Kid had a rough go last time. Uh, Lankinen. Um, so, goaltender confirmation. Subban has played well when he's gone in. Goaltender confirmations are very important. As far as the total, they're probably going... Are they going back to 5.5 here? Yeah. Um, it, 
I mean, you know, the way Columbus used to play, this was an easy under. But they've been doing a lot of overs lately. Um, I'm probably going to lean over again, but I'm really not sure. Carolina, Dallas. Uh, again, goaltending, goaltending, goaltending. Reimer should be in net. Dallas, I would think, I would go back to Ottinger again. Uh, but it's projected that, that Hudobin would be in. Um, Hudobin didn't have a great game last time. Ottinger has looked fantastic. I mean, if I'm the coach, I'm rolling with Ottinger. I really am. Um, if Ottinger is in, I kind of like Dallas here. If not, I like Carolina. And either way, with Reimer and Net, I like the over. Yeah, over 5.5. Okay, Detroit, Nashville. Um, this is the same as last time here. Uh, as far as, uh, I'm going to go the under because Nashville's not scoring much. Gr assuming Grice is in net, I heard Bernier might be ready soon. That might change things. Nashville went with Rene last time, and Rene looked good, but it's against Detroit. Are they going to go back to Soros? Hard to say. I could see Detroit winning this game, but like last time, uh, you got to. I think you got to take the spread at one sixty three for Detroit. Back to it again. I barely got it last time. My gosh, the and empty net stuff. Isn't that fun to sweat that out? But Nashville's getting one fifty eight. You're getting more juice on Detroit PL, and it's probably the same odds that happens. So I probably take Detroit PL. Again, uh, that is really high juice when you consider Nashville struggled against Detroit. They haven't played well. The odds are, it's taken a while for the odds makers to realize that Nashville is just a really poor team. Uh, Calgary versus Vancouver. Vancouver's got to win this game, man. I just, this might be a personal vendetta. I would, <laughs> I pick Vancouver to win this, the Canadian division. And it's my bad because I didn't notice how bad their early schedule was. So um, that really is the problem. Now, they've got a little bit of rest. Calgary is looking really good, though. I probably fade this game, but I'll take... You, I can make a case for both, so it's very tough. And I bet you the line is six. The total is six, right? Yeah, so I'm probably fading this game altogether, honestly. I'm going to say Vancouver just because. And I'm going to say who's going to be in net for Calgary? Probably. If Holtby is in net, I take Calgary in the over. Let's just tell you that. So keep your eye on that. Well, boys and girls, that's our, my full 42%. And thank you for all your Patreon people that have come over and check us out. Again, just comment anything in the comment section. I'll give you the rest of the month for free. Also, you can cancel anytime. So if the end of the month comes, you don't like it, just cancel. And it doesn't cost you a dime. I, you just sign up to a package. I'll reimburse you immediately. It takes a couple days for it to go back into your account again. And then when the following month comes, you can do the parlay challenge and you can do the parlay challenge here. Put a parlay down there. We got, I think we have one person who's in the lead right now and I don't even know what their odds are, but they're the only one that got a parlay, right? So even if they don't come out with their odds, they still win and they're going to get the free month. So uh, if they remember that they did it, that's uh, Nino Brown. So beat Eno Brown. Put a parlay down there. Get a free month. Why not? It's free. Cost you nothing to frolic and have fun and splash around over there at BPOW Picks. I'll put the link in the Patreon. I'm, uh, again, Monday, 3 to 5 in the uh, Eastern Time, PM, in congruence with uh, SteelFlyers.com network. I am going to be live and you can come over there and frolic with me we talk about all the weekend's games and we go on all kinds of tangents over there so get over there i want to see you there
because I like it. That's my 442, everybody. Have a great day. Lots of love to ya. Okay, bye.